What's going on, Sean here. Welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna give you four reasons on why you should be reading books. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Nerf this. Before we begin, I just wanna say thank you for watching and if you're new here, consider subscribing because I do release videos every Monday to get your week going and every Friday to get your weekend started. Turn post notifications on and you won't miss a thing. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. Have you ever heard the saying that readers are leaders? If you haven't, Google it, because it's a thing. But reading is just so crucial. Uh, it improves your knowledge. It's fun to do. It really just makes you expand your mind. And I always hated reading in, in high school and in college, but since I've really, you know, changed my perspective on it and saw results from reading, it's it's undeniable. Reading is definitely good for you, so it's something that I definitely suggest you do if you don't. So number one is reading improves your imagination and creativity. When you read something, it'll make you start to picture things in your mind and when a good writer describes a scene like out of a fantasy novel or if a, a good writer you know that has a personal development book really paints a picture of what's going on around them or what they've done to build their business it really allows you to really close your eyes and picture that image that they're trying to paint for you in your mind and the more that you read that and see that kind of text the easier it'll be so obviously that's going to improve your imagination and your creativity number two is a big one for me obviously the same reason why i do these videos is that it motivates you especially if you're reading a motivational book or a personal development book or a success story it really you know gets you in a gear you read about these stories about you know, uh, these gurus who really came from nothing and really had to work their tail off and you see that they're normal people just like you and I, it really does motivate you and makes you believe, hey, if he can do it, I can do it. He's really no different than me. He's just another person out there, just another human being. So number two is that they motivate you and it's so true. Number three is that it improves your knowledge and vocabulary. Obviously, if you're reading a reference book like How to Get Started in Real Estate, even like a Four Dummies book, it's going to give you knowledge that you didn't know. That's why you're picking up that book. Also, when there's words in there that you really can't understand, it'll make you use context clues to figure out what that word means or you can just Google it and see what it means. So it's going to force you to level up not only your knowledge but your vocabulary. So that's number three. And number four is that it makes you develop your critical thinking. And that is so true because a lot of times I'll read something and I'll question it and it'll be an idea that I really didn't think that was true, but it may be true. So I'll start to break down these processes in my brain and try to decipher the meaning of different things. And especially books that kind of question you or challenge you, it really does make you take a second pause and reflect and see what you believe in or what your belief system is, especially in like a personal development book. Um, so it definitely does help with your critical thinking. Um, so that's the list guys, four tips on why you should start reading books and they don't have to be physical books that you read. Um, I'm a visual learner so I like to actually see the page. Um, so maybe it's a Kindle for you or maybe it's an audiobook. Maybe you're more of an auditory learner. However, you're watching this video so I'm gonna guess that you're a visual learner. So definitely pick up a book, read, learn some things. And I always link a few books that I recommend down below. So if you'd like, go check those out. Um, thanks so much for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one, signing off.